So here we have the Vauxhall Zafira on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with those three individually folding rear seats, should you wish to increase that space even further. And of course you can fold the rear seats out so that you have it as a seven seater as well. Okay, we're just gonna work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard. So let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. That information can be changed using controls on the indicator stalk. Uh, and below that, the total miles for the car, which is 17,857. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side here, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right-hand side, stereo and phone controls, including voice activation. Of course, you can only use that after such time as you've paired up the phone. And that is done on the touchscreen in the center. Hit the phone icon and follow instructions on screen from there. Uh, this car's got satellite navigation. There's a full video that shows how this works on both our website uh, and on our YouTube channel as well. When it comes to music in this car, we have AM, FM and DAB radio, USB input and Bluetooth audio as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music. Uh, you can also project certain voxel friendly apps from your smartphone directly to the car. Hit that icon, connect your phone up via its USB and you'll be able to do that. Working our way down, we have got the air conditioning. So you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed. Air conditioning is on at the minute. So off, on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set on this dial. And again, you can turn it off whenever you wish to. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in when it enters the car. We've also got heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings each. We have this storage area, and you can open this down uh, from the top, and you can see there we have a 12 volt charging socket and a USB input. And finally, we have a six speed manual gearbox. This button will turn off the parking sensors and this turns off the traction control for the car. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.